Hey guys, I've made the long trip out here to rural Chengju and I'm at one of the, uh, hi dog, <coughs> I'm at one of what it would be considered the top five brewery from Makgeolli in the country, Pungjong Sage. Uh, they make some really nice stuff here, we're gonna go inside, they're pretty busy so I don't know what we're gonna get, but I'm, I'm gonna get some Makgeolli obviously, but uh, let's go check it out and see what we can find, see if we can talk to the, the head brewer. All right, so we're inside. Uh, you can see some stuff behind me. I'll show you later. But uh, I got a couple of bottles, and I should explain what this is. So this is the Yakju. It's 15%. Uh, they make their own nuruk here, which is really cool. And they use uh, mung beans, nokdu, nok and barley, right? And barley? No. Oh, okay. Wheat. Okay, so okay, it is wheat and mung beans together in one nuruk. They make that themselves. Mung beans is so expensive, she explained. Oh, mung beans expensive, so that's why I paid 35,000 won for this bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, they make it, and then they use a beksalgi for the first stage, the mitsul, uh, which is like a steamed dock kind of thing. It's one of the harder first stages to make and get right, so that's kind of cool. Uh, this is considered a bopju, if we're talking makgeolli words, which is considered uh, from gyeongju originally. It's known for its clean taste. And so then when they filter it, uh, they put it in an ongi for 100 days at like super cold temperatures. And yeah, this was served at many famous events like the Korea-Belgian Summit in 2019. And uh, Trump even had some of this in 2017 at the U.S.-Korea Summit. So I'll show you a picture. Uh, here's Trump with President Moon in 2017. Uh, a lot of people will argue that awards are not useful, it's corrupt, whatever it is. Um, I, I understand what they're saying, but there comes a point where you don't win a ton of awards without some kind of skill. So, got a bunch, got this one. Yeah, it's behind me, but I'll show you. <laughs> so, uh, I've had this one. This is the Takju, uh, but let's do the Yakju first. <laughs> Tight bottle. Yeah. There's a trick for you kids, if you can't open any bottle. Uh, so let's get a pour on that. Super light. Yeah. It's too hot. <laughs> I didn't really know how much I poured. I just wanted to get a good video. So. Oh, very fine smell too. Whoa, boozy though. You can smell the like alcohol in there, yeah. God damn. Oh yeah. I've had a lot of like 15% yak juice, but the alcohol taste is like super punchy there. It's a strong flavor, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the bottle's blocking you. You're lucky. <laughs> Again, I've had this before once. I've never had this. Oh, it's really nice. It's just... It almost reminds me of like a tea. It's quite, like quite delicate. It's... The alcohol comes through a lot, but as far as flavor-wise goes, like fruits or uh, this and that, yeah. I suppose there's like a bit of apple and pear, a tiny bit, but yeah, it's very clean, four out of 10 on the sweetness, alcohol comes through, oh yeah, and right now too, down here, Whew. this this together was 54,000, so I don't know the prices of each, but if I had to guess, I'd probably say like 35 and 19, and then like, you know, give or take 2001, either way. Not too thick, not too sweet, nice burn, a little bit of pear and apple. Yeah, this is really nice. <clears throat> I wonder what Trump thought when he had it. <laughs> you can think. I don't drink enough makgeolli, so I don't want to like place it in comparison of other ones too well, like I would with a lot of beers I drink, just because I drink way more beer. But this is, if you're a makgeolli person, you want to drop a bit of money, you know, again, I can't say like, oh, it's much better priced than this one, it's much better than that. But if you are a Makgeolli person and you want to drop some dough on some Yakju, uh, this is worth it, let's say, yeah. But again, I can't give it like a gold and compare it to this and that. 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> One more thing. This was literally bottled yesterday. It's June 3rd, so... <laughs> well done. We're getting the freshest of the fresh. We have an... In we, uh, as an aside, yeah. Uh, my girlfriend talked to the <clears throat> head brewmaster's wife, who I wouldn't say is not a brewmaster. She must know how this all works, and she must do a whole lot of stuff. Um, but we'll get some of her questions. She's really busy. The online shopping failed, and it was going live today to sell. Yeah, twice a month every, like, Saturday. Right, so two Saturdays every month, they release their batches online for sales, and the Your website has, has shut down. the server failed. And then uh, she so got a lot of phone calls. They're quite stressed, and so we can't sit anyone down and actually talk to them, but she did manage to get a few questions in with... Again, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but like the brewmaster's wife, which again is someone who's totally yes. uh, knowledgeable and able to answer the questions well. So we'll get that later. We'll taste first, but we'll get that later. That was the Akju. Now we got the Takju. Um, I had this with a friend months ago, and I didn't film it, but I kept saying like, this is like the most balanced Takju I've ever had in my life. What is that? Chunha you can chunha. actually see the nuruk in the bottom of the bottle, That's in the awesome. sediment. So this was bottled on the 30th of May. So again, that's like four days ago, three or four days ago. Mm. Ah, let me give you a little, on the bottle, it has some English on it, so. Traditional alcoholic liquor by Pak Nog Dam, flames in the water is made of clean water and strictly selected fresh ingredients and gone through a natural fermentation process to keep drinkers health. Uh, so again, I mentioned they make their own nuruk, uh, which is cool. This is much, like I keep talking about a lot of the makali videos about rice nuruk. This is not that, this is like the traditional, and it uses wheat and mung beans, which is like crazy. Hyangon-gok means yeah. the traditional nuruk. Yeah, that's, That was yeah. your first question. Hyangon-gok, yeah, the questions I have here. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we'll get, Yeonju will explain what the lady said later, but we'll do a tasting for now. Ooh, yeah, oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, that was amazing. That kept changing, like, th it changed twice, so three, but. <laughs> There's a bit of nuttiness to it, too, which might be the mung beans that come out. Doesn't taste like the last time I had it. I had it about six months ago. Yeah. This tastes yeah, different though. She doesn't like makgeolli that much, but these two are good, she says. Again, I'll have to raise the audio so you can hear her. Starts out a bit tart, a bit of green apple, and then it kind of like changes into this nuttiness kind of flavor. Almost like a... Uh, I, I'm not quite sure what nut, but there is like a kind of earthy nuttiness to it. Yeah, I won't say specific nut. And then it ends on this kind of like wave of alcohol and like more tartness. Oh. Yeah, the green apple and that kind of freshness, tartness, and then the savoriness, and then it kind of loops back around to like a tartness alcohol finish. That is wild. That is a wild ride for that this drink. And then on the retro, yeah, there's a bit of nuttiness too. Yeah, it kind of goes like up and down. It's very bizarre. This is worth... I would say I enjoy drinking this more than the more expensive one as like an experience. This is a very well-made yakju, but as far as like, whoa, amazing. This one's half the price, a bit of more of a roller coaster. Yeah, Whew, that's really interesting. She's pointing at the yakju. <clears throat> I prefer my own yakju when I make it, but I think I prefer most other breweries' takjus when I drink it, because they're half the price. That's why. <laughs> oh! And again, on the retro. Oh, man, this thing is all over the place. It's kind of like, uh, you know what reminds me of? Willy Wonka. When, <laughs> no, when Veruca, uh, not Veruca, uh, Violet Beauregard eats the gum, and she's like, it's like a Caesar salad! There's the uh, creamy dressing and crouton, and now it's like a steak dinner, roast beef dinner. Oh, the juiciness of the roast beef with mashed potatoes. Oh, now it's like a blueberry pie. <laughs> and she just keeps going through the different things this one gum is giving her. <clears throat> I hope I don't turn into a giant fucking blueberry, but uh... <clears throat> Kevin, 
you can ask them to adopt you as your son. Honey, apprentice. <laughs> they don't, they're not going to adopt me as a son. They're going to mentor me, you <laughs> nut. Speaking of nuttiness, yeah. Yeah, maybe they can adopt you. Hi, I'm 37, live in a different city and have a job. Would you like to adopt me? <laughs> they already have a dog, yeah. They don't need me hanging around. <clears throat> yeah. Um, again, I said I've had this once and it was... The other one that I had was much more balanced, which you could argue that is a knock against the brewery for not being consistent. The one that I had before, it was like perfect tartness, perfect sweetness, perfect balance, perfect drinkability. The alcohol was there, but not overpowering. It was just immediately sessionable and really drinkable. This one is not that, <laughs> but that's not... I, Again, if, if you were going to argue for a, the consistency of an alcohol, that would be a strike. But as far as enjoyability goes, I enjoyed the other one, and this one is enjoyable for completely different reasons. So, the unpredicti uh, unpredictability of Makali is one of the, you know, downsides, but also one of the pluses, too. It's impossible to predict what you're going to get bottle to bottle or, or batch to batch, even within the same brewery. And again, that would drive wine people up the wall. It would drive beer people up the wall. But because of the nuruk, that's what makes makali makali, right? You're going to get these kind of weird fluctuations over time. And one way to counteract that is a lot of breweries will save a third of the batch and blend it into the next one. And then sell two thirds of it and then put a third of that into the next batch. So that there is some semblance of continuity between batches. I don't think they've done that here. This is so different from the one I had a long time ago. And again, I don't drink a lot of Makali and record it, but I remember the bottle that I had a long time ago, and it was nothing like this. Very, very different. But they were both, you're going to you know, buy this at the store, you're going to get a surprise, and it will be good, judging from what I've had so far. Yeah, very impressed, very impressed. That's their house, I imagine. And then the brewery, that's this place here. Uh, they're open every Saturday. Like I said, they're really busy now. I think I'll come back and actually get a tour and talk to the guy myself. Uh, but for now, there's the two kind of most popular drinks they have. And uh, we talked about some questions that we had for the uh, one of the brewmasters. So uh, yeah. Fucking Carol Baskins. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, hi everybody. A uh, bit of a weird one. Uh, <laughs> at the brewery, we wanted to talk to the people there. Uh, but here's how it's gonna work. She talked to the people there who didn't want to be interviewed, and then she's gonna talk to me and you about what happened. Mm -hmm. So um, why, why were they so busy? What happened at the brewery? Uh, they opened their online store <clears throat> like every twice Saturday a month, every second Saturday, but the... <laughs> On that day, we went to Saturday, and the internet uh, had shut down. So everyone called, like, what's going on? Like, I've been waiting, like, to buy uh, your stuff for a while, and then uh, what's going on? And like, why can't I access your uh, store or something like that? So um, her son and her daughter, and also she was so, she was so busy at that time. So we were so mm -hmm. sorry to, like, the bother or something yeah like yeah so I had a list of questions and basically <laughs> yeah. she'd be coming in and out of where I drank the makali in the mm -hmm, video mm -hmm. and then I'd be like Yanju would be like oh by the way like what do you think about this and she'd be like oh a blah 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 and then she'd take off for 10 minutes she was so busy but back. somehow <laughs> she was too nice because she <laughs> uh, I think that she felt kind of uncomfortable because she like we are kind of like guest uh, customer we, to come there and uh, buy <laughs> their uh, like the makali. Yeah, so. they are a bit out in the countryside uh -huh. too, so it, like it does take some effort to go out there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she might have been like, "Oh shit, they drove all the way out here. I don't mm -hmm. want to like just okay, buy this, drink it, and then bye." Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, she was. We kind of slipped in questions every once in a while. So she gave her the questions. Well, I gave her the questions. She <laughs> asked the questions to mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. She told her, and now we're gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you talked to her, mm -hmm. uh, and so one of the questions I had was like, "What is your brewing philosophy?" Like you're kind of. I asked so this to everyone I interview too. We guiding principles, philosophy. Mm -hmm. So what did she tell you about how they make makali? What is their mm -hmm. belief system? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she believes the keeping tradition is most uh, like a priority. Mm -hmm. 
in their like a uh, brewing. Mm. So like it means that like some people they um like most I I heard like most brewery follow the like convenience system. Ah, uh, like convenience system. So making like, a lot for cheap, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they uh, most uh, brewery use the stainless containers to keep the makgeolli, but they still follow the traditional way, which means that they use uh, like a Korean traditional like a pot, ongi. Like the clay kind uh, of clay like, yeah. and uh, clay. I have one. That's what I brew. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it means mm -hmm. that it, they put a lot of like a huge amount of their efforts because it's hard to wash it after the brewery <laughs> and then like keep it uh like uh you know like a neat yeah because mm -hmm. it's porous if you mm -hmm. use like cheap soap mm -hmm. that cheap soap gets into the material mm -hmm. itself it doesn't wash this like mm -hmm. stainless that's one of the benefits mm -hmm. is that you can wash it with soap mm -hmm. and rinse it off with mm -hmm. the ceramic kind of clay mm -hmm. yeah if you use shitty like oh look i have like a uh, scented soap mm -hmm. your ongi smells like grapefruits now mm -hmm. like <laughs> you don't want that because the next time you brew like yeah. uh, they try to <clears throat> follow the old system like a Korean palace mm -hmm. uh, used to make uh, the alcohol like mm -hmm. for royalty and important mm -hmm. people right yeah, yeah and also when they uh, how can I say like a barrio uh, is it the fermented yeah fermented yeah fermented like uh, they put uh, the ongi uh, on the like uh, electronic mat mm -hmm. to keep it warm and then they covered with uh, like uh, the clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is like a very old, uh, old way. Okay. Like my dad sometimes make alcohol for ancestors. Yakju. Mm -hmm. This is not her dad's yakju. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I should be put. I should put this in the video too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The stuff that we drank. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, their mm -hmm. philosophy is like a try to keep the Korean tradition. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So like slow traditional flavor. Mm not making thousands and thousands and thousands mm. of liters of it, mm. right? Okay. Much of the chongsang. What's that? Effort. Ah, okay, like, yeah. Put effort. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I wanted to ask them too, like, they're in Chongju, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Great city. But how did they end up there? Like, why like, are they in Chongju? The countryside. Yeah, and not it's in not Chongju, in the Chongju. downtown yeah. in Chongju. It's like northeast of the airport, which airports are on the edge of town mm -hmm. anyway. They're even farther out. Mm -hmm. So how did they end up in Chongju? Are they from there? Why did they... Pungjong. As you can see, the Ah, that's the village name, yeah. Pungjang is the name of the village. Sage means the first season. So, like, uh, the the her husband, like a master brewer, brewery? master head brewer, brewer yeah. head brewer, head, master brewer. Yes, yeah. Had, um, he lived in the this town Pungjang, and then after they got married, that uh, they left uh, the village and they came back. So yeah, okay, simple. Yeah. It goes with the traditional thing, like you know, you think of good makgeolli, you don't think mm -hmm. of like. You don't think of like downtown mm. Daegu. Mm. <laughs> you want like that image of the countryside, mm -hmm. right? Rice paddies around, mm -hmm. yeah. Because uh, he's kind of like first son. <clears throat> we say in Korean, Jongson, which means that they have lots of events for ancestors, like a 12 like a, a year. Uh, so, like every month. Like, kind yeah, of? so yeah. they need a, like a, the nice alcohol for their ancestor. So uh, they had a brewer. Um, he like kind of got used to make a lot of alcohol, like a. How can I monetize born, this? He was yeah. born, <laughs> yeah, like a talent. Yeah. Well, it's it's kind of hard, like it's hard <laughs> to tell kind of like a talent because they put a lot of effort. Yeah. So yeah, it's simple. Mm -hmm. hmm, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things I wanted to ask them about too was like the nuru because they make all their own. Mm -hmm. If you remember my video from Hongchan, the Yesul place. I went to with Julian and Colm. Uh, I showed the Nuruk room and they make their own too. So they make their own here at mm -hmm. Pungjong uh, Sage. Yeah. Uh, so can you tell us about the Nuruk? Like how do they make it? Any process stuff? <laughs> She's not an expert on this, but she'll try her best. <laughs> no yeah. idea, sorry. Um, they make a Hyangungguk. That's the name of the Nuruk. They, yeah. They're like, an, it's the name of Nuruk. It's the like a... They also like as as we like talked before the they make everything in a very like old system, so hangungguk means they're nuruk, and should I can I tell like a they the person to anything you learned okay. please tell us yeah I yeah. learned that like a sheep uh, put the ninety percent of the wheat 
and 10% of mongbin, nokdu, mm. which means that like a mongbin is very expensive. So, and um, they, she said, uh, temperature and like a humid, yeah, are very like important to keep the nuruk uh, in a good condition. Yeah, I've made mung bean nuruk and I've made wheat nuruk, but I've never blended those. Yeah, I've mm-hmm. never made like a uh, both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, usually you'd use wheat and a bit of like rice powder, maybe. Mung bean is. Uh, nice. No, it was one hundred percent wheat. Mung bean is very yeah. expensive. Uh, no, it was rice and then ten percent mm. wheat powder that I made too. Yeah, mm. but I've never mixed mung beans in that. Yeah. Mm. And uh, did they give you any advice? On, uh, I guess the advice they gave you on nuruk is temperature and humidity. Yes, right? yes, oh. yes. All right, yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah. <laughs> they are so busy, so there was no <clears throat> time to give us like a detail. Well, they're probably not going to tell us how to make their nuruk anyway. Can you write the recipe down with all the steps? Yeah, you know, like sh- fuck the off. advice from her is that like a no, <laughs> like everything is very important, but they like uh, trust the balance is very important. For the, f- the you mean in the flavor. the flavor in there? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, I'm almost done the questions here. I have a question. Do you like beer? But I figured they were busy. I was like, ah, that's not. Yes, right. I won't bother them. Right. With <laughs> and also, what was the last question? Like, a uh, we were asking so... them about other breweries in Korea that they like. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is funny. They, yeah, yeah. They have like. <laughs> It's kind of like a embarrassing question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because uh, she's told she talked me like a <laughs> they have a, like a group for head brewery. Kind of like the beer brewers so all have like a little club, right? She yeah. She can't yeah. pick one. Yeah. Right. She doesn't want to anger her friends. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. But she did say that there was a brewery. Pongchon was so good. And the uh, Pyeongtaek Jonsol. She was likes so yeah, Jonsol and uh, uh, Yesul and yeah. Midam. Midam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, like but, she, uh, uh, she said, mm. like uh, she likes every uh, brewery. <laughs> they use the uh, the. They don't put any uh, okay. artificial stuff in like a makgeolli, like a <clears throat> nur, nuruk. What is that? And others. Rice, basically. Right. Yeah. That's the minimum three you need. Mm-hmm. It's like beer with the four ingredients, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Minimum makgeolli mm-hmm. is yeah, water, rice, nuruk. Like, minimum, yeah. Mm. If 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 someone like uh, make a makgeolli <clears throat> with the uh, three things. And then she respects them. That's what Cameron said in the Makali podcast too. He's mm-hmm. like, I want to get the most out of the least, mm-hmm. like the purest way of doing it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She told us about another Mak- uh, another well, yeah, Makali brewery in Changju though. What was that? Sa- near Fortress. Yeah. What did she say about uh, that brewery? Shinsanju, okay. I guess. So. Did she mention anything about it or just that she likes it? Like uh, if no, it's not that far from their brewery. So she suggests us to go like, there. Like yeah, it if wouldn't we be that. Have a time. Yeah, mm. it, it's kind of easy to get to. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So maybe we'll go there in the future. I don't know when, but yeah, mm-hmm. maybe we'll drop by there. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else that she mentioned that was funny or interesting? Or I mean, these are the questions I had. But you were talking to her for a bit. Whoa. Is there anything else like that you want to tell them that they can know about this brewery? I didn't know that this is <clears> like <throat> used for a, what is it like a summit? Ah, uh, yeah. Belgium summit meeting. In 2019, right? uh, yeah. Also for like Trump. Trump right? in 2017. Yes. Yeah, yes. I have I have a video of that too. So yeah. it's so honored. Uh, yeah, there which it is. Which I think, but she yeah. she was so humble. <laughs> yeah, I think we embarrassed her too when we went in. Uh, you told her something like, "Oh, Kevin says that you're a top five brewery in the country," mm-hmm. and she's like, "Ah!" <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> ah no, 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 no. <laughs> right, yeah. I like it. We're good, but and, no, 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 too much. Yeah. And I, I, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of makgeolli, but if I like the, if I like something, which means that it's just so nice. She's, even even my she's brother, less humble than the brewmaster. Bro- right. Yeah. My brother. If I like it, my it's brother good. also tried this a little bit, and uh, he said the it, uh, the smell is so good, like a hangutan, which is like a flowery mm-hmm. in Korean. Uh uh uh, and I was very surprised. Yeah, she's not a big makgeolli person. Very impressed. She's getting used to the beer that I drink, but she's mm-hmm. still not on the makgeolli train yet, mm-hmm. but maybe slowly. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> you can be the brewmaster's wife like she was. <laughs> but we'll make sure the internet doesn't fail. <laughs> we'll have a good uh, server running. Dine will fix it. Huh? Dine will fix it. Dine! <laughs>